Hey guys, welcome to the Killian Family Homestead. Just a quick video here. I've attached uh, one, two, three, four inch PVC pipes with holes and then baskets set in it. You probably recognize this from the other video where I had the uh, aquaponic system outside. My dear wife said it was taking up too much room and was an eyesore. So what I'm going to do, or what I've done here, is I am going to continue to build on to this thing so it's an all-inclusive aquaponics system instead of just the aquaculture system. So you can see here we have one 10 foot long 4 inch PVC followed by another by another. What we're going to do is we're going to put little um, either expanded shale, rock, or little clay balls in there um, and then the It'll grow. We're going to have to obviously put some grow lights on this so that the plants can grow. But it's going to connect directly into our tanks. Got yeah, goldfish in that one. Here I have, I don't know if you can see, but pretty large tilapia there, male. Very big. This one is just another goldfish one here. Then the water is a bit distorted because they've been moving around, but here is another breeder tank there. I put those PVC things down there, but I don't see any of them going inside. They must be too narrow, not large enough diameter, so I'm going to replace those out. But I think there's six of them in here, and you can tell that they're, the males are bright red like that. They're wanting to mate, but I've got to get them into a better breeding tank. Okay, here is 80 to 90 baby to blue tilapia. I, uh, on this side I have the three 10 foot long 4 inch PVC um, aquaponics beds. It's just, a, it's just a constant flow bed, so what's going to happen is this media tank here is going to push the water out and then through gravity it's going to feed into each one of these. It's going to then flow all the way to the bottom and then there's a, there's a little riser, I wish I could take this off with one hand, a little riser that goes about this high. Water fills up and then spills over. You see on this one? Then the water will come down and then go back and I'll connect it back into the sump tank. Sorry for all the wires and all the junk around here. I didn't clean it up. I just did all this today. Here's another 100 blue tilapia fingerlings. There's a hundred of them in here, and there's another hundred in here. So we have about 400 tilapia all together in here, and then I'm going to get rid of these goldfish as soon as I can. Pretty, pretty colors, but of no use to me. Now that I have plenty of fish to create the ammonia necessary to get the nitrifying bacteria to do their job as well as to feed the plants when it's in here. I don't plan on doing plants um, over the winter time. I'm in Washington State and it gets cold. I mean, I'm going to be heating this water so that I can keep the tilapia alive, obviously, but we'll see how this thing goes. Like a lot of projects I do, is just build it as you go, not really a plan. Maybe a, a future video I will explain where all the water's flowing to and from and maybe it'll be a little further along. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.